Yes, uh, welcome back to the isometric projection class. So we shall solve the second problem. A rectangular pyramid of base 40 mm into 25 mm and height 50 mm is placed centrally on a rectangular slab sides 100 mm into 60 mm and thickness 20 mm. Draw the isometric projection of the combination. In this it is clearly given we have a rectangular pyramid which is placed on a rectangular slab. Okay. To begin with as usual draw one horizontal line and trace this 30 degree line to both sides and mention this 30 degree 30 degree. Next you can have a look the rectangular slab is of dimension 100 into 60. So you can trace 100 to this side or to this side to proceed with the problem. Let me take 100 to this side starting from this point 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 and to the right side 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Next you get these two points. Further you can start counting from this point or else from this point. If you start counting from this point you can count 60 to this side that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Again, if you count 100 from this point, you will land up with the same point and draw this base part. After drawing this particular, the thickness it is clearly given it is 20 mm. From all the corners, start raising the height 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20 and 10, 20. Further, join all these points with a continuous line. After drawing this, as I told, in isometric projection, the top face is clearly visible, right side face visible and left side face visible. So, whichever the line which is intersecting, you can maintain this with a very thin line or else you can remove this part. So, after removing, this is how it looks. Next, we need to find out the center of this particular top face in order to place the another figure that is pyramid. So, take a 50 of percent of this that is if this side is 100, mark for center 50 and 50. Again from this point since it is 60, mark for 30, mark for 30. So, after drawing this particular, so the pyramid is 40 into 25 mm. I just write here so 40 to this particular side and 25 if this particular side next if I divide this exactly at the center we have 20 this side 20 this side and somewhere here 12 and half and 12 and half coming to this point if this is your center point this will be your center. You can take 20 this side and 20 this side and 12 and of this side and 12 and of this side. So start marking 10, 20, again this side 10, 20, this is 10. So for 12 and of less than 50, exactly find out the center and mark similar to this, mark and draw the line such that it should pass through these points and it should be parallel to this 30 degree line and these lines should be parallel to this 30 degree. After drawing this particular base part, have a look. I have clearly traced the line such that this edge is parallel to this 30 degree line and this should be parallel to this 30 degree line. Next coming to this height, it is 50 mm. So from the same point, you start raising the height 50 Next, from this point to join all these particular corners. This one, this and this one. So have a look. When this front face is clearly visible, this is not visible. So I will let me draw this with very thin line and you highlight this particular region. Next, since these faces are clearly visible, this part to be 
erased or it should be maintained with a thin line. So after, com after completing this particular, you can show the dimension here. See the height of the pyramid is ISO 50 mm and this side it is ISO 40 and this side this is ISO 25 and when it comes to a rectangular slab, this side we have taken ISO 100 mm and this side we have taken ISO 60 and the thickness of this is ISO 20 mm. Coming to the next question, draw the isometric projection of a rectangular prism of 60 mm into 80 mm into 20 mm thick. We have already solved this particular slab, it is of different dimension fine. Surmounting a tetrahedron of sides 40 mm such that the axis of the solids are collinear. That means it is centrally placed. In this case, we had a rectangular slab and a rectangular pyramid which was placed. In this particular case, we have one rectangular slab upon which we are placing the tetrahedron. You can see this condition at least one of the edges of both the solids are parallel to VP. We can solve this condition directly here. Now, starting with this rectangular prism or a rectangular slab that is 60, 80 into 20, you can take 60 this side or 60 this side. What I do is, let me take 80 this side and 60 to this side starting with, so from this point, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, somewhere here. And coming to this right side, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So marking this, again from this point, I can count 60 to the right side, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And from this point, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. It means at a common point. Next, join this and draw the so after completing this part from all the corners, raise the thickness that is height 20 mm from here, 10, 20, 10, 20, 10, 20, again from here, 10, 20. Next, join all these points with a continuous line. After drawing this, we know that in isometric projection, top face, right face and left face is clear visible. So you can erase this part or else you can maintain this with a thin line. Next, identify the center by taking a midpoint. This side we have taken 80. So mark this for 40. Again for this for 40. And when it comes to this particular we have taken 60. Mark for 30 and mark for 30. Join these lines and identify the center. Proceeding further, so we have a tetrahedron. Tetrahedron is a typical solid wherein you have learned this in your projection of solids. So what you need to do is, in this tetrahedron, the height will not be given. So, draw an XY line. Next, draw an equilateral triangle because it is composed of four equilateral triangles. Draw an equilateral triangle. Next. Drawing this, identify the center by drawing the perfect medians. So after drawing this, from the center point, join to all the corners. After joining this, project this to the upward to get a front view. So raise this height. Remember in tetrahedron, height will not be given. So whatever the dimension of this, Say if this is 40, go to the one corner, identify an edge, that should, edge should be parallel to an XY line. From that corner, go to respective point, from this point, cut an arc for the same 40 mm side and join this. So we are doing this particular circus in order to identify this height. So next, so after getting this height from the center directly you can raise the height. Next, have a look. So in order to place this triangular base somewhere here, as I told, any basis other than a square base or a box shape, you enclose it in a box. So you enclose this in a box first. 
so after enclosing this envelope what i do is this is a center to be placed somewhere here so if i measure this dimension this will be somewhere 11 and if you measure this particular dimension this will be 24 now what you can do is have a look from this center and taking this distance that is 11 from this distance center if i take 11 this should be iso 11 remember don't measure this directly in a compass and place it here if it is 11 you should take iso 11 this side next have a look for a simplicity if i number this 2 3 and 4 and i will mark this as a okay you can proceed this with the two methods you can transfer this box or else you can proceed with 1 4 and point a now taking this point center i have taken this 11 mm after taking this that is i have reached to this point to the right side i have 20 to the left side i have 20 so i have taken iso 20 to the right side and iso 20 to the left side so i got point number one and point number four along this line i have a point a have a look along this line i have a point a so it, from the center it is 24 mm so from the center it is 24 mark 10 20 25 less than that one it is 24 next after getting this you can directly join this way to get a triangular base part so the same would have done by drawing this box so instead of tracing this box i have directly transferred this this is also one method you can do it now when it comes to this height so what is this height measure it is this dimension is 37 next from the center you raise this height for iso 37 so in, in order to measure 37 as i told you can take a grid this is from here to here 10 20 30 and 40 so in between these two we have center point that is 35 just slightly more than that approximately you can take that is 10 20 30 35 and just slightly above that approximately i have measured then mark this point and join all these corners so after completing this particular what you can do is as i told this face is clearly visible and this face is clearly visible so this part you can erase or else you can maintain this with a thin line similarly somewhere this part you can erase and you, or else you can maintain with a thin line so after erasing this is how it looks so once completion of this you can show this dimension this is iso 80 mm and this side we have taken iso 60 and from the center you can show the height also this is iso 37 and you can show this this is iso 40 this completes your problem